Nuclear equations are really straightforward if you know what you're doing. They're similar in lots of ways to chemical equations. They have a left-hand side and that represents before a change and a right-hand side and that represents after a change. There are two types of decay that you need to describe using nuclear equations and most of the time you're just going to have to complete these but let's just go through them now. In alpha decay the mass number decreases by 4 and the atomic number decreases by 2. In beta decay the mass number is not changed but the atomic number increases by 1. We don't tend to write a decay equation for gamma because the nucleus is not changed. So this is a decay equation that describes an alpha decay. So we have radium here decaying into radon and giving out an alpha particle. You can use HE for alpha particles or the symbol alpha. Both are acceptable. Notice that the mass number has decreased by 4 because 4 protons and neutrons, 4 mass, has left the nucleus. The atomic number, the proton number, has only decreased by 2 because only 2 protons have left that nucleus. Just like a chemical equation, you need to balance the before with the after. The left hand side needs to balance with the right hand side. You aren't. The left hand side needs to balance with the right hand side. And you just do that line by line. You balance up the top line and balance up the bottom line. The way to solve these is to memorize the code for alpha and beta, be able to sub those in and solve the numbers. This is a beta decay. You can see we've got cobalt decaying into nickel. Now what has happened here is that the mass number hasn't changed because an electron is what's given out and that has basically zero mass. But the proton number has changed because actually one neutron has turned into a proton in order to give out that piece of negative charge. So the bottom line reads 27 equals 28 minus 1. So all you need to do is remember that code and then balance out the top line and bottom line. You don't need to remember any specific examples of radioactive decay and you don't need to work out what the symbols are for the different uh, elements and things like that. You don't need to pick them out of a period table or anything like that. They'll always be given in the question. All you need to be able to do with nuclear equations is remember the codes for alpha and beta and solve those numbers to make the top line balance and the bottom line balance.